I predict that this is going to be my shortest quick review yet, but what do you expect when I'm talking about an EP that's only four tracks long? Yes, today I'm going to be talking about the new Demon Die CP, Shut Up, Get Happy, because I have some thoughts, and they're pretty positive. Shut Up, Get Happy is a follow-up to Demon Dice's 2020 album Alcatraz, which was a blend between 1920s pop and 2020 pop rap, and was overall a project that just didn't really vibe with me. And to be fair, that's the case with a lot of Demon Dice's music. I, I just find I don't really vibe with a lot of her work. But I will say, when it comes to Alcatraz, the title track is an absolute banger, and then I really loved words that I can say to you off of American Psycho Row. So going into Shut Up, Get Happy, I wasn't really expecting much. At most, I was probably just not gonna vibe with it as usual, but I couldn't be any more wrong. The EP opens up with Wanting Getting Wanting, which sets the perfect opening to this project and tells you everything that this is gonna be about. And that is her mental health and overall response to the fame that she's gotten. I really like the switches throughout the instrumental, the second half of the chorus as they're using a vocal delivery that feels very satisfying to my ears, and the overall lyrics and vibe of the song is pretty nice. Not my favorite, but still pretty good. Only complaint I have about the track is that the first half of the chorus sounds like it's trying to be a choir, but it more comes off as sounding as if she's on the other side of the room performing the lines. Just ends up sounding hollow and empty, which could be the entire point, and that's fine, but personally it just takes me out of the song a bit. Moving on, we have Take the Bait, which is the first time I've ever heard an Angry Demon Dice song and actually enjoyed it. The other ones I've heard just kind of sound like a really young, hot-headed girl getting mad over things that I just feel kind of stupid to get mad at. But this one, I feel like it deserves that anger, with her just completely at wit's end over the bullshit that comes from having fame. Honestly, it reminds me a lot of another song. What was it? Uh, off, off the hook? So, so, something head? I, I don't know. I love the absolute sporadic flows that Karen brings to the track immediately. And the beat is pretty great, especially with that vocal flare hidden in the back during the intro. And while I can't relate to having to deal with constant drama from fame, I can relate to being angry at how toxic Twitter is. Despite only roughly 5.12% of the world being on Twitter, when you're on it, it can feel like that's the entire world. And it can really get overbearing and annoying constantly seeing people just start shit for absolutely no fucking reason. I mean, I also made a song about my own personal experience with Twitter's toxicity, so I can get the anger that Karen has, even if it's objectively worse than what I have. <laughs> I'll say, though, that I feel like the chorus is a little underwhelming compared to the verses. It just kind of feels like it lacks any energy, but... Nonetheless, a very good song. I do really enjoy it. I also love the line where she censors herself off from saying cunt. There's just something about that writing style where you set up the rhyme scheme and the lines to build to a word and then purposely censor yourself that I just really like it a lot. The next track, Dark Hour, is my favorite off the album. The beat's an absolute nocturnal vibe and I love that type of production. Karen brings in some singing and it sounds really fucking good good, especially during the verses. The way she delivers this line is just an instant nut for me. I'm at a ship, but where's the line? There's honestly really not much else I can say about the song. I, I don't really even have any negatives to say about it. It just hits different. <laughs> and then we end the EP with Fake Ass Gold, which is a more fun, lighthearted track, and I feel like that works for a closer to a project like this. We've gone from an overall strong vibe of this is my life now, to complete and total anger, to more moody, and now we're ending with a little bit of fun. The production on the track is very boom bap freestyle and works pretty well, and I especially love the vocal loop throughout the track. I also really like the hook. There's just something about the mix of the vocals and the melody used throughout it that just feels really nice and catchy. A couple bars I liked was the common sense and the play on the proof is in the pudding phrase, and the song as a whole feels like a lift me up for both Karen herself and her fan base, and I think it's a pretty great way to close out the EP. And overall, Shut Up Get Happy is a pretty good EP. The short-lasting realm of emotions that come from fame is portrayed really well. It opens and closes really strongly, and I think it's the best piece of work I've heard from Demon Dice so far. I give it a solid 8 out of 10, with my tracklist ranking from favorite to least favorite, probably going Dark Hour, Take the Bait, Fake Ass Gold, and finally, Wanting Getting Wanting. But even then, 
all the tracks on here are great. And I just overall hope that Karen can mentally get better soon and be able to get to a point where the fame isn't this much of a stressful headache on her. I, I truly do wish her the best. And I did also join the live stream that she did after the album was released, and, um, and I thought it was dope. I also liked how she said that the project, especially um, Take the Bait, was more for people just in general who do content creation, regardless of your numbers. I, I, I could really get that across when listening to the track, especially with just my general fucking shit that I've gone through and my own insecurities. And even though a lot of it didn't really come from comment sections and fan, well, yeah, it did come from comment sections a while ago. Um, my own personal struggles lately have just been from, like, people around me in real life, or old friends that I used to have, or people I used to hang out with, and, um, I still could just relate to that song, so, did, did a very good job. Alright, I'll crawl back into my hole and continue struggling to work on proper videos. Well, until Jakey's rom-com comes out, I... Guarantee you I'm going to like that album. Drive off a bridge? Fucking banger. Cannot wait to hear that full length. So, I will see you soon. And of course, everyone has their own opinion. But my opinion is the best opinion. I'm sure you figured that out already. 